couple of years, the internet has been buzzing with stories of just such a mysterioso linkage between Hollywood's 1939 munchkin classic, The Wizard of Oz, and, this is the mysterioso part, Pink Floyd's 1973 art rock monument, The Dark Side of the Moon. So far, the only comment from the Floyd camp on all of this has come from drummer Nick Mason, who says, quote, it's absolute nonsense, it has nothing to do with The Wizard of Oz, it was all based on the sound of music. But Now, this is not a decode, but rather a topic for future discussion. I wasn't sure if I was going to make a thorough video. I'll decide later, but most of you probably know about this already. This is old news. But folks discovered that there are some remarkable synchronicities that occur if you queue up the beginning of the Pink Floyd album, The Dark Side of the Moon, to a precise moment near the beginning of the movie The Wizard of Oz. Now, I tried this. I was skeptical at first, but a friend got me to sit through the experience, and I gotta say, there were indeed moments that impressed me. If you've never experimented with this, there are multiple websites that tell you exactly what syncs to look out for. Admittedly, a couple of websites seem a bit sketchy, and I uh, had to roll my eyes a few times while reading through the websites, but like I said, I was impressed. Anyway, what do you think? Have you tried this experiment? If so, was it a pre-recorded YouTube version of the sync, or did you set it up yourself? There's a difference. You... My friend told me I have to use the old VHS recording. The newer recordings, sometimes they edit it for time, shave off seconds off the movie, whatever. What were the most remarkable parts of the sync? Or was it all BS? Was it, as they say, organic synchronicity? Or contrived? <laughs> 